welcome back to my easy java class in this video we will study about how can you can handle or how can you find out the output of simple simple loop programs how can you handle this uh, how can you solve this for loop problems or not only for loop for all the loop problems how can you handle okay let's check the different different small small programs and can you find out the output of this one okay you should find out the output and how many times it will work that also you have to find out can you do i will help you let's read the questions analyze the following program segment and determine how many times the body of the loop will be executed what will be the output of the program that's the question then what's the first question int x is equal to 5 y is equal to 50 while x less than or equal to y y is equal to y by x system dot out dot println y close the curly bracket this is the first question you have to find out the output and how many times it will work first read the question again what are the values of x and y x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 50 then while x less than or equal to y then in the curly bracket y is equal to y by x and system dot out dot println y these are the statements okay when you operate this problem when you work with this problem you have to apply all the values into this problem okay uh, so we start how to do i will show you how to do this one easily in the first step i will apply the values x equal to 5 comma y is equal to 50 okay then how can you uh, give the value first we will give the values to this condition loop in the while loop then 5 less than or equal to 50. We know this condition is true. Then because of that it will go inside. Okay. Then you will get like this. Y is equal to. What is the value of y here? 50. You have to find this value. You have to uh, apply this value of y. 50 divided by 5. The value of x equal to 5. Then you will get to the answer as 10. Then you have to print the value of 10 here. First output is 10. Then second time, what are the values of x and y here? We know now x equal to 5 but the value of y is changed. We uh, always we will, uh, when we are working with this problem, have to continue with the previous value. Okay. Then now the value of y is equal to 10. You have to apply these values. Then how can you apply 5 less than or equal to 10? Okay. Then this condition is also true. Then we will go to inside. That means y is equal to, again we will apply these values, 10 divided by 5, we will get a 2. Okay, this time 2 is the output, 2 will be printed. Okay, next step, what are the values of x and y here? Here, x equal to 5, x will not change because there is no other operation with the x. Okay, x equal to 5, then y is equal to now 2. Then we, when we apply these values into the condition, that means 5 less than or equal to 2. This is false. That means we cannot, uh, we can go inside of this loop. Okay. That means we will terminate or this loop will terminate the program. Then what are the values, different values you got? Uh, what is the output? Do you know? The output is, how can you write 2? Sorry, first you got a 10. 10, 2. You should write in separate line because they used a println statement. That means system dot out dot println statement. For each value, first we will get a new line. That means first step, then two. These are the output. And how much time it will work? They are in the question, they will ask how many times the loop will execute. That means two times, first time, second time, third time, uh, terminate the loop. That means uh, time, time you will get a two. Okay. These are the answers. I think you all understood. Let's take the question. What's the question? Find the value. Find the output of this one. Int m is equal to 2. Int n is equal to 15. What's the loop? For int i is equal to 1. i less than 5. i plus plus. Within bracket. These are the conditions m plus plus semicolon minus minus and semicolon then system dot out dot print line within double inverted comma m is equal to plus m then close the bracket after that you have to put a semicolon also system dot out dot print line then uh, open the bracket 
uh, within inverted comma n is equal to plus n then close the bracket semicolon this is the question find the output of the values okay then how can you find this output you can easily find out but just listen these things these are the initial values first when you get a for loop first you have to find out whether how many times it will work first you check the initial value of this for loop what's the initial value of this for loop one then up to less than five and plus plus each time it will vary with a one that means one to less than five that means one two three four less than five means up to four it will work this is an integer variable then see there is no curly bracket here in the question if there is a curly bracket it will affect these two statements wherever we stop this curly bracket up to there it will affect that for loop but here there is no curly bracket because of that the first statement only affect this for loop understood all of you and that means this uh, value only will execute using this loop that means first time we can check how it will write how many times it will work the value of i is equal to first one the i less than 5 and i plus plus these are the condition then 1 less than 5 means 1 next time 2 next time 3 next time 4 up to 4 only it will work 4 times the loop will execute okay then I told you only this m it will affect this loop that means what's the first value of m now 2 uh, 4 times uh, increment means uh, 2 plus 1 first step now the value of m is equal to 2 first step you will get a 1 increment that means 3 4 5 6 2 will become 3 first step then 4 then 5 then 6 4 times it will be incremented this is pause increment after the operation only it will increment okay 3 4 5 6 these are the 4 values and finally it will print on the final value not in the not all the values because if the statement is inside the curly bracket we can print all the values but it is not in the curly bracket then you have to print only the final value okay that means which value will be printed n b is equal to within double inverted comma you will get like this plus m means you will get the final value okay this is the first output and i told you this n is not affected with this uh, uh, for loop because of that what is the first value of n here 15 then minus minus n means which value you will get n is equal to here n is equal to 14 this n is not connected with this for loop because only one time it will be decremented i think you have understood the meaning and it will be printed like this because n already we have they had given then the value also you will get then output how can you write this output output m is equal to 6 and n is equal to 14 like this way here too you will get the output and always there I, this is the question of this public examination that means ICC board examination previous question they will ask like this you, you, you should expect like this question all the examination they are asking like this question and because of that you have to study this one also uh, always they are asking what find the output and how many times it will work then you have to write the timing also times that means four times it will work okay you check up with this for loop then write the answer if they are not asking don't no need to write that one only write the output okay this is an important question you should study thoroughly because uh, for all the public examination like this question will come you have to study it carefully okay and they are testing you have a logic and you do you know uh, to work with the loops nested loops and for loop and all uh, this is testing for your brain okay i think you all understood
and if you want to get my previous videos please subscribe my channel and if you want to get my uh, next video please press on the bell button don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you want to uh, give the answers of the next quest last question just come give the answer to through comment box okay then i will give the reply through comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel bye bye